In this tutorial, we're going to talk about using the Blend tool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a basic shape. We'll use a star in this particular example. So I'll go ahead and draw a star. Holding down my control key, I can constrain and draw a perfect star. What I'll do is I'll duplicate that particular star, and we'll move it over here. And I'm going to shrink that down, change the size of that. So let's color this first star. We'll color it, uh, let's use red, and we'll color the next star black. So what the Blend tool does is it allows me to blend two or more objects together. So what I'm going to do now that we have these two objects in our workspace is I'm going to click on one and I'm going to drag by left mouse clicking to the other object and you'll see a little preview and of course I'll just let go and you'll see how we're blending those objects together. Now of course there's a lot of different tools here to make some controls. Uh, for example I can control the blend direction so if I want to rotate some of those uh, stars to give a little you know, unique dimension or perspective I can do that. Hit control Z to kind of back out a little bit. We also can control uh, how we're going to blend these objects. So maybe I don't want that to be so advanced. I can scale that down to 10. We can also control, uh, once again, the, uh, the blending and the direction. So if I want to go in here and, and say, change the, uh, the pathing, I have the opportunity to do that. We can also control the color acceleration. So I have the opportunity to really aggressively ratchet up the color blend or reduce the color blend and we can uh, kind of dynamically control that. Now this is locked together. You can unlock that and we can speed up the way the color would graduate. Uh, we can reduce the way the color will graduate to make it not so intense. Uh, so you really have a lot of control here to, to really get the perspective and vantage on how this will look. Now one of the things that I like to do is oftentimes fit this to a path. So for example, I'll take the uh, freehand tool here and I'm just going to draw a shape, draw a path here. Well, what I can do is I can take the, the blend that I've created and I'm going to go ahead and select this tool now that says Path Properties and I'll select New Path and this will give me this little, uh, little arrow here that will let me select a path and fit my blend to a specific shape or path. Now of course if you want to remove that line that kind of intersects your file or the path you're going to want to go ahead and right mouse click on any of the uh, white boxes above a color palette where my mouse is now hovering. That will go ahead and deselect that particular path. In fact, I can go ahead and select this whole design and deselect using the same tool all the outlines that go around the star. So that's a quick way to create a, uh, a blend uh, connecting two or more objects together. You can accelerate them. You don't have to change the color. Uh, we can just do it by object so you have a lot of controls there.